Alright, what's up free YouTube? Today I'm going to be playing a free for all and talking about the update and showing you guys some guns. I have all the guns lined up. So to start off, I just want to use a new gun. You know, it's the OHM, I believe. It's a light machine gun or just zero HM. I like calling it OHM. It's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. The shotgun parts are pretty effective. You just hit the left toggle. Everybody, then... meet me in the middle. Yo, shut your ass Party. up, homie. Come on. Look at it, these. It's it's automatic. It's insane. It's literally insane, guys. I, I <laughs> and then this is the light machine gun, of course, which is probably just as good. Obviously, this won't be used in competitive. If it is, uh, yeah, it won't be though. The light machine gun can. I mean, I have no attachments on it, but it can be a little stronger. But when it comes to the shotgun, my God, is this just overpowered? It's gonna come here. What the? F All right, that kid just world starred me. See if I can kill somebody with a shotgun. So this thing is just um Enemy UAV crazy gun, and you can shoot 40 bullets with a shotgun. So next we're gonna be talking about the MP11. Uh, I actually did a video MP11 against Sharp. I won't be one them. That would be uploaded today as well. I'm gonna be doing a double upload. Now when it comes to the MP11, I think it's probably. The, the gun closest to competing with the with the Bowered ASM1 uh, has a pretty fast fire rate. Has very high mobility. I use extended max. I use no quick draw. Quick draw is supposed to be in here. Replace a four grip, but unfortunately I don't have it unlocked in public matches. But it's pretty strong as you guys can see. It kills pretty fast. The range is nice, nice and clean. You guys see, it's very good gun. It's probably just my second favorite sub now, close to the ASM1. <clears throat> uh, a lot of these people are, right now are using ASM1. I'm able to kind of compete. Obviously, someone with a better shot is going to be a little bit harder. But overall, you guys will see me versus Sharp. It's a pretty good gun. I, I don't know how it will really be used or how effective will it be, but it should be interesting. I'll switch guns right after this. Talk about another gun. So, a lot of people are talking about the patch. Honestly, the ASM1 is still pretty good. It's nothing too bad. What I do see happening is there's going to be a lot more bows in place due to the fact of all this, you know, pre-patch and updating. I Every time a bow shoots at me, he, for some reason, he instant melts me and the bow has not gotten, like, nerfed or patched or anything. For some reason, oh, I'm stuck. It has, it's been doing really good. So now I'm going to ASM1, the gun you guys have all been waiting for. The ASM1 is nerfed. It has no longer that shoot four, three, five bullets, whatever, faster. It's just like the what Merc pretty much described it pretty well. It's just like the a, a, MSMC in Black Ops 2. It's just a very passive gun, shoots normal rate, and I believe the longer you shoot it, it still has the, the fire rate slows down. But overall, it's still a very strong gun. Highest damage gun in the game, or highest sub damage gun in the game, my bad. And you could definitely do work with it. Like I said, the only gun I see can compete with it, MP11. Are we really doing ringing around the road right now? Come on. But you see right there, as soon as I shot the second guy, I probably would have killed him or almost killed him. But it no longer has that, you know, three bullets, but still a good gun. <clears throat> now we can talk about the AMR9. Sadly, I have no attachments for this gun either. But this gun has been buffed. I see this, baby. Alright, that's a long range, you know, shot for sub. But, uh, the burst between time has been reduced, decreased. And the damage has been increased as well. Wow, but you see that's a problem. And ASM1 can go around the corner and kill me that fast. Then obviously this gun does not stand a chance. You would just have to get shot. But it still does kill pretty fast. As you guys can see, it's it's a decent gun. Like with the ASM1 nerf and all that. It's like all these guns stand a chance. Just you want the gun that's gonna do the best, which is the ASM1. In this kid's rocket rapid fire. Maybe that's why it died so fast. But um a lot of these gun guns are more viable. A lot of these guns are kind of more usable now with the ASM1 being nerfed. Now, is it smart to use them all and try to do good with them? It's risky because all these guns are, I feel like, are more inconsistent compared to the ASM1. See, I should have killed them. Now, we're going to go moving on to SS6. The only thing that happened to SS6 was, I believe, the recoil was reduced. But it's always been a pretty decent gun. Oh, well, that, that finished pretty fast. I'm going to have to move this to another free-for-all or something. But the SN6 has always been a pretty decent gun. Um, you know, it's 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 strong. It's it's all right. 
Now, the only reason the ASM1, it couldn't really compete too much with the ASM1, but you guys see right here, I do find with it. The one thing I do like is extended mags on it in replace of probably long barrel, but I don't have that either. Alright guys, so I'm going to talk about two more guns and then I'm going to go to a vlog and basically talk to you guys a little bit more about it. But the SN6, as I showed you guys, it's a pretty decent gun. Now the KF5, I don't have, I don't have his grip on it, but they did increase the mid-range damage. This gun is pretty good. I mean, 40 bullets. It's pretty effective, pretty strong. You know, usually you can see it's going to do really well. I was trying to use it against Sharp in a 1v1, which he will post on his channel later. And I don't know, the ASM1 is just, it's really good. I mean, I can see it working. I used to love the KF5, but the ASM1 is just overwhelms everything. It's stronger than everything. It's, it's so hard not to choose the ASM1. So now we're going to go to our last gun that was buffed, the ARX. It has increased ammo. It used to be, I believe, 32 bullets and increased it all the way to 45, which is a huge increase. The only thing I wish they would have done was increase the damage by like maybe one or two. But overall, this gun is still kind of good. You saw the guy kill them pretty fast. I remember using this gun in the scrim against, I don't remember what team, but I, I was using it against NV and some other teams. I was just using it as a scrim. And if, you, you really don't ever have to reload with this now. It's pretty much, and you guys saw it to see the shots. They kill pretty fast, connect pretty well. The only problem is if you're shooting a bow player or something like that, it could get really fritzky, as I would like to call it. But overall, do I see this gun being used? Uh, this is a small possibility. Maybe I heard people. some people don't like the IMR on land. Maybe this gun will be a, a land gun and be better on land. And I literally have nothing on this. All I have is like grip and red dot right now. And you guys can see it's, it's working pretty well for me. It's not that bad of a gun. But I wish I would have killed that guy faster. So you guys can see, those are the updates in the top right left corner. I don't know, you whatever, from whatever perspective you want to see it from. And I showed you some of the guns. They are better. They are stronger. The ASM1 is nerfed. Now, can we see more subs being used? It's a possibility. I know I tweeted a little bit about it, but the only subs I see maybe being used is the MP11, the KF5, and the SN6 has a small chance. Uh, the other subs, pretty much no, no. And it should be very interesting. We are using the pre-patch for regionals. I mean, that's the plan. I really don't know what's going to go down. Anything could go down. Maybe they aren't allowed to use it. Maybe they have to update the Xboxes and we're forced to use this. But for now, we, we plan on using the pre-patch for regionals. Coming champs time, we're going to have to use the new update. We have some about two, two, two to three weeks of practicing with the new update. I heard no more spawn glitching where you couldn't spawn in. Uh, I heard, you know, better, better, everything's better. I think uh, a little bit, some better spawns. They fixed some stuff. The icons are better. You know, they're more visible. And broadcasting mode's a lot better. You can also see the kill feed a lot easier and a lot better. So they definitely fixed the game a lot. The guns are a little bit changed. And one thing I do fear, though, four bows or three, two, three bows every game. The bow, I don't know, every time I play a bow, it melts no matter what sub I'm using. And it's very strange. It's like they buff it, but they did it. Maybe the nerf on the sub was just too strong. And now the bows is ripping everything. So it's a possibility we a possibility we can see two two bows at least every map. Maybe three bows uh, coming champs time. But for now, we don't know. I know a lot of pros are going to continue using, maybe trying out new things, using subs. And we can see from there. But uh, overall, I'm kind of happy and excited for this update. Uh... It's definitely going to be different, a lot more fun. It, it, the game's going to be a lot more fun. No more kind of bullshit kills with the ASM1, you know, with the fast fire rate. I, I believe, I feel like the game's going to be a less, a little bit less glitchy and bullshit and a little bit more skill. So I'm kind of happy for that. But I want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I will be doing a double upload later tonight. Me, 1v1, 1v1 is sharp, sharp TK. Uh, I used MP11, MP11 versus the ASM1. Got pretty close. So, hope you see you guys to watch that video as well. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out.